I would like to ask uh, Mr. August Joko Pramono, board member of the Audit Board of Indonesia, this question. How did the Audit Board, of which you are a member, contribute to the VNR preparations, given that Indonesia will present its review for the second time this year? Can you share any lessons that were applied for the second review? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we are, uh, first of all, I would like to thank for the uh, great presentations from Fiji. And secondly, we are the auditor of the governments. Usually there's a long term, long debate about what should be reported by the government about the achievement. And it is not a surprise when the first times of the uh, government report about the uh, achievement SDGs uh, implementation process, uh, government already achieved 100, and government of Indonesia already achieved 169 uh, criteria of uh, 249 criteria of global criteria in SDGs. It is surprising because what? Because uh, at the time, and you know that uh, SDGs is daily, actually it is a daily government activity. So there's long, long discussion between auditor and the government. What should be recognized and what should be measured? And in 2017, 2017 government of Indonesia uh, and uh, with the discussion with the auditor, which is us, uh, state the presidential decree on SDGs. It is uh, presidential decree number 59, 2017. It is consists of what should be achieved and what's, what is the measurement. So it's, more, it's much more, it is much more easier to auditor, uh, to audit the, the SDGs achievement. Because before that, Government only want to report what they already achieved. They, 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 report, they didn't report the, the failure. They didn't report the failure. That's the, uh, the first uh, milestone that we have achieved with the government. And second, as the part of uh, international organization of uh, Supreme Audit Institution, uh, Audit Board of Republic Indonesia is a part of Intosai. Then uh, Intosai already have four approach in dealing with the SDGs uh, implementation. First approach is to audit the preparedness. We we already audit the preparedness of the government of Indonesia in uh, implementing the SDGs. And second, we audit the specific target. We audit the specific target. We choose which target. Uh, has already reported by the government and we audit. And the third, we promote the accountable, reliable, and inclusive uh, of the government institution of all, 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 all level. And then the fourth is, uh, Intosai would like the member become the role model. So in this case, uh, SAI, each side of the uh, country should report their sustainability re reporting in for their own organization. Uh, how much time do I have? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> three more minutes. Okay, uh, first I would like to uh, share about the how we audit the preparedness uh, of the. Uh, government of Indonesia and SDGs implementation. Based on Intosai framework, there's two uh, main framework of the uh, audit process. The first is we audit the framework of the policy. How, to what extent, the government of Republic Indonesia uh, internalize the global criteria to the national context uh, and regional context of the SDGs implementation. And uh, the second, it is still policy framework. It is about mean of implementation. How much the budget is uh, put in the national budget and what uh, source of funds has already been gathered by the Indonesian government and also how uh, government prioritize the, the activities, the activities of the SDGs uh, program. And the second framework is about the data. 
It's about the data. It is about what is the monitoring and evaluation and reporting process of the government uh, for the SDGs, the SDGs implementations. And uh, there's some kind of uh, certain criteria that already been built by the Intosai uh, community. And we come up to uh, three major findings. Uh, the first, in policy framework, we found that, uh, that the agenda of the government of Republic Indonesia is not too coherent and is not integrative between level of the government. It should be between central government, province level, and district level. It is not uh, uh, coherence, less coherence. And why? We found that this is because of the government cycle. Right now, Indonesia, in central level, there is a, a national election. But this, the local level has already been set two years and one year before. There, so when the new government will uh, formulate the medium-term agenda, the local government, province level and district level, already run the program, already run the program. That's, big, that's make the coherence and integrative process of the SDGs implementation become less uh, effective. And the second finding is that the budget, budgeting process or uh, funding or spending of the governments, usually governments bodies, government bodies, only focus on its internal process, internal process. They do not focus on the service itself, but they, they just focus on internal process, the business process, the system, the capability of the uh, government's uh, uh, employee. And the third is the data framework. The baseline of the indicator and reliability of the data and also the system of formulating the data become, uh, become difficult because you see that in SDGs, we audit the outcome. Usually auditor audit output. Usually auditor audit the output. But in, our, in SDGs process, auditor audit the outcome. The outcome usually came from several programs or several activities and several government entities. Usually we audit single government entities in a time. But in this process, the government entities should make the information system and reporting system uh, more clear and uh, more precise. That's the major finding of the first step. Uh, I only have 25 seconds. Then if you would like to know the second, the third, the fourth, please come to site event. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.